Here's your news anchor, John Greenmanday. Weather with Gravel Limestone. Sports with Sam Sampson. And your on the field reporter, Ryan Santana. This is your Channel 4.0 news team. Good evening, DC. I'm John Greenmandy, and this is the Channel 4.0 news team with all the latest breaking news in the District of Columbia. To start off, I'll be sending you to our sports reporter, Sam Sampson, with the latest breaking news on the Baltimore Orioles Stadium. Thanks, John, and hi, everyone, and welcome to Sports News with your host, Sam Sampson, which is me. Over the past few days, my team and I have discovered multiple new revenues at Camden Yards, home to the Baltimore Orioles baseball team. To start off, let's talk about the playing field. First, the field is covered with what luxurious Kentucky bluegrass. The grass provides the players with the perfect playing field and must be cared for by hand hand before every game. Whammo! To add, the warning track has just been freshly replaced with crushed brick for player safety. Prior to this, it is all rub rubber. Whammo! Last, with the addition of a few new more seats, the ball, the paint, the ball park is able to hold over 50,000 exciting, excited fans in the stands. Waymo! Now here's Ryan Santan with a quick pregame report. Samo Waymo! Hello, I am at the Baltimore <laughs> Orioles hands, practice gee. facility. <laughs> and as you can see, the Baltimore Orioles are warming up because they have a big game tonight against the New York Yankees. They're in first place and they're battling with second place Yankees. And Kendall Pearson, can I have a quick word, word with you? Sure, man. So, uh, can you tell folks a little bit about yourself? Well, I started out playing baseball. Cal Ripken. Yep. Mm. I'm the best catcher in the league. Well, actually, can you uh, explain to us why do you lead, lead the league in errors playing defense? Well, I think that I'm just in a slump right now. Yep. Uh, so uh, now, can you uh, tell us, when you're batting, why do you leave the league in strikeouts this year? Because you think you're the best. Well, to tell you the truth, I think it's the umps. Uh, I think their eye seat needs to improve because all those were balls. Uh. Uh, yeah. Okay, now, um, yeah, good luck in the game tonight. And uh, also, one more question. I don't need good luck. Uh, one more question. Can you tell us about the new upcoming sport, lacrosse, that's becoming really popular? I hate it. That's it? You hate it? I hate it. Okay, now. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. Gravel, you're welcome. Now just read the weather. Okay, thank you, John. Today's local forecast will be torrential rain all over with small tornado watches and large tornado watches. There will also be tons of snow going around. Civil civilians just barricade their doors so the zombies don't get in any Gravel, kids in. just read the real news. Oh, sorry. Sorry, everyone. You don't need to worry about anything. It says I was reading the news in Russia. Okay. Yeah, so in D.C., the weather will be sunny and a chance of rain. Back to you, John. Moving on. The 4th of July is only a short time away. Because of this, the studio has come up with a select few locations within the District of Columbia for terrorists, I mean, tourists to visit. To begin, the Korean War Monument is a fantastic place to visit. The life-size soldiers come to life in the sunset. 
to add, the World War II and Vietnam memorials serve as the ta serve the task of immortalizing the United States troops who so bravely died for us. Meanwhile, the Lincoln and Jefferson memorials serve as great monuments that so greatly represent some of our finest leaders. To top it all off, the U.S. Naval Academy and the National Monument serve as great tributes to our country, as well as great family photos. Next, the museum located within Washington, D.C. is also a great place to visit. This seven-level, 250,000-square-foot museum is full of art and history galleries. To add, the museum has a multitude of wonderful pictures, especially the one being shown to you now. Within this picture, a man is seen reviving his mortally wounded partner. This photo, taken in 1968 by the Jacksonville Journal, displays a man bravely reviving his partner after receiving a fatal shock of electricity while working on a telephone pole. In addition to this beautiful photo, the museum also has a multitude of newspaper collections and headlines from across the world throughout time. Perhaps one of the most infamous covers within the museum is the hundreds and hundreds of headlines describing the 9-11 tax. In fact, the museum has its own specific gallery for the 9-11 tax, which contains millions of photos all describing this terrible day in American history. Now for a quick commercial break. Hey, Jeff, stand up. Oh! Oh! Pipe ah! nuts. Get a pair today. Cut. Hey, Ron. John. Hey, Gravel. That was your best report yet. Oh, thanks. Hey, for the commercial, can you play us a quick song? Yeah, that sounds nice. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not, com I'm not really prepared, but I'll do my best. This one's called the African Throat Dance. Ready? Moving on, Arlington National Cemetery has been a massive tribute to all the dead yet brave soldiers who have died for our country. And as a result, the studio found it quite fitting to do a quick documentary about Arlington and its importance to the United States. To begin, the cemetery is a great place to visit. About three million people visit annually. To add, grave services are all week except for Sunday. The property is located on 624 acres full of graves, and it contains the remains of over 300,000 soldiers from the United States as well as other countries, all buried from now since the 1860s. To add, 
5,000 funerals occur here each year. The property itself is located on Confederate Robert E. Lee's plantation, and soldiers plant flags in front of each and every gravestone during Memorial Day weekend. And finally, there are a multitude of famous people located and buried in this cemetery, including that of John F. Kennedy and his family, <clears throat> William Howard Taft, and Audie Murphy, as well as many others. Now, more coverage with Ryan Santana. Hello folks, I am at Arlington Cemetery, and it's truly honorable to be at this place. As you can see, I am at a new portion of the cemetery because there aren't many tombstones currently here. And as you can see in the background, there is a funeral, funeral service going on. They happen every day but Sunday. And when you come here, you'll always see funeral services honoring the great heroes who fought for our country. It's a truly honor to be at this great place. <laughs> Meanwhile, the National Aquarium has been doing a fine job of educating the masses about the different ecosystems within our world. To start off, the National Aquarium has a multitudinous amount of different ecosystems within their exhibits. Two of the most prevalent, however, are the coral reef and rainforest exhibits. Now, throughout their history, the National Aquarium has done a fine job in educating people about coral reefs and their importance to the earth. Yet now they have begun to further educate people about how and why coral reefs are in danger. There are multiple reasons as to why coral reefs are so suddenly disappearing from our earth. Several reasons include boating accidents, pollution, and even stealing pieces of coral to sell. Yet, there are also multiple things that humans as a race can do to help solve this problem and help preserve the coral reefs within our world. Two of the most prevalent and perhaps most helpful and useful ways to prevent this further destruction is simply not to pollute and simply to ride boats in shallow waters. Now, breaking news. Hello, I am at the Baltimore National Aquarium and this horrible news has just happened. A teenage boy has jumped into the fish tank and this is just horrible because he can harm the fish and the coral reefs are endangered and he can cool. hurt the fish. Another teenage fish. boy jumped Get out. in. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. This, is, this is horrible news. Yeah. I'll let you guys watch the action. Despite the horrible and embarrassing events that happened tonight at the Baltimore National Aquarium, it is still a great place to visit. People visit there every day and you should come here. This has this never happened and I promise you, you'll love the National Aquarium if you, if you come. From all of us here at the 4.0 News Channel, have a good night and stay classy DC.